Hello, welcome back to the holding. We're getting towards the end of November now, and the weather's definitely changing, and um, I want to bed the worms in now for the winter. Um, I want to try and keep things as natural as possible. So I wasn't really sure what I was going to use, whether I was going to use like straw, newspaper, things like that. But what I've decided to use is, is leaves. I've got an abundance of leaves at the moment. And, you know, just thinking about how things work in the wild, sort of natural environments, leaves are what they would normally have to sort of go into the winter with. So I want to keep things as natural as possible, like I say. So leaves are what I'm going to use. Now, even though the temperature is dropping, it hasn't really gone below. So today it's at about seven degrees. That's about the lowest it's been, hence why I'm, I've decided to uh, bed it up now. Um, but I will monitor it through the winter. And if I need to put anything extra on top, um, then I can do that. And, and I can obviously sheet it over with some tin or something if it, um, if it starts to get too wet also. Um, if you remember the first video when I made this bed, I did put some hoops over the top um, to attach the netting to, but that just proved a bit, bit awkward. They kept rattling around and it was scratching all the hoops up and they were just a bit of a pain. So I didn't bother in the end, I took them off and I just literally put the net onto the top of the, the wall sides with bricks and it's just a lot easier. So the worms have come on quite well. I did the first couple of weeks I noticed a lot of scratching around the sides, um, on the outsides of the walls here, and um, it was blackbirds. So I put a trail cam out, and uh, in, a, in about three or four days, I had a couple of hundred visits from blackbirds scratching at worms. So I dug down myself, and there were worms starting to come out the sides. So I reckon I lost a fair few when they were sort of settling in and, and going out and investigating the, the surroundings. I think a lot of them came out and, and they were had by birds. But you know, you live and learn, like I say, I always say that, I, I don't mind things like that happening. Um, I just got to learn to deal with it. So I did put netting around the edges for, for a while after that. I took it away a couple of weeks ago because they seem to have settled in and stayed in the bed now. There's still a fair few in there. You dig down, you can see them. There's eggs and things too. Um, but yeah, I, I did lose a few. But um, so I'm gonna put right up to the top of the wall with leaves. Um, and this should hopefully insulate them and provide any sort of food they might need through the winter. I'll keep an eye on them. I'll check them obviously and check that they're okay. But um, obviously they can eat, eat through these leaves and, and it will also provide the insulation I'm hoping that I need to try and keep them alive as best as I can. Because this bed is on earth, it drains quite well, so it, it doesn't seem to get too wet. We've had a lot of rain now, and um, it hasn't really got too waterlogged, so I'm not really too worried about that. But like I say, if I need to, I can, um, I can put, a bit of tin over the top or some plastic. I think the heavens are about to open, so I will get this done quickly. Or I'm gonna get soaked. Like I say, I've seen other videos of people using leaves in their garden when they keep the, the composting worms to try and sort of keep them alive, and it seems to work. So I'm hoping this will do the job. But like I say, it's all trial and error, really, with me at the moment, because I, I, I don't particularly know what I'm doing. I'm just learning as I go. But that's what I'm going to do for now. So that's a good sort of foot, foot thick layer of leaves. What I will do if the weather suddenly takes a turn for the worse and gets really cold, I'll probably put three or four layers of fleece over the top. I've got the same width as, as this netting. Uh, I've got about 100 metres of fleece. So I will use that if I need to. But for now, I'm just going to use this net. I will actually, because there's so much of it, I might as well put a few thicknesses maybe of this. I don't know. For now, I'll just leave that as it is. But I might roll it backwards and forwards. 
when it's not raining. But for now, hope, I'm hoping that amount of leaves, they will break down a bit. So maybe end of the month, I'll put another couple of bags on and I'll keep it right up like this. And I'll check on them through the winter and hopefully it will um, it'll see them through. But anyway, I'm gonna finish the video now because I'm gonna get soaked out. But hope you enjoyed the videos and uh, we'll see you next time guys, take it easy.